everyone, this is Enzo from Heusingveld and this is the first of a series of videos in which I will show you how to use our pedals in different ways. Um, in this first one I will show you how to use Smart Control together with iRacing and other simulators. Um, so first of all make sure your pedals are properly calibrated in within Smart Control. Uh, so you launch the program and you start the calibration. Make sure all the pedals are in their rested position, they're not pressed at all and go to the next step. Uh, you push the throttle all the way down, but don't push it all the way um, too hard into the soft end stop. Um, and hold it there and click on the next step. Release it, um, then do the same for the brake. Then you can also sh tell the s software how much force you want to use for the brake. Uh, I find 50, 50 kilos most enjoyable. Um, and put it back to neutral. Uh, then do the same for the clutch pedal, uh, as what you did with the throttle and then your pedals are properly calibrated within Smart Control. Um, then you go into your simulator, you've got iRacing up at the moment, um, and you set the controls there. Uh, within iRacing make sure that the raw value it shows you goes to 4095, um, and do the same for all three pedals. And finally the clutch. After you've set this up, um, you can make any changes within Smart Control, such as changing the brake force when you uh, switch between cars or uh, the resistance or the travel of your pedals um, without having to reset your pedals within the simulator. Um, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time.